We are from True Maths, and in this video, we are going to solve question number eight of exercise fifteen point one. The question says, refer to question number second, exercise fourteen point two. What is the ephemeral probability that an engineer lives? In the first case, less than seven kilometer from her place of work. In the second case, more than or equal to seven kilometer from her place of work. And in third, within half kilometer from her place of work. Now, what was question number second? That forty engineer were asked a question that what is the distance between their residence and their workplace? So this is the data which we found that the first engineer was uh, asked what is the distance between his residence and the workplace. He said five kilometers. And the second one says three kilometers and so on. So this is the data for forty engineers. Now I have to find the probability in the first case that the engineer lives less than seven kilometers from her place of work. So for this case, for the first case, now I have to find the probability that the residence is less than seven kilometers. From it, from her workplace. Okay. Now, the formula to find out the probability will remain the same. The number of trials in which the event has occurred upon the total number of trials. So this here, the total number of trials will be the total number of engineers. So the total number of trials here are forty. Now, out of these forty, let's find how many times, or you can say, in how many trials. This event has occurred. And what is event? That the distance of their residence from their home, or the, from their work, is less than seven kilometers. Now let's find. This is the first case where the distance is less than seven. Second case, and it is, should be less than seven, so this won't come. Now in the second, this will be the third. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, and nine. So, out of forty, nine times, or you can say nine engineers have their workplace less than seven kilometers away from their home. Okay. So, out of forty tries, nine times. Is this event has occurred? So in the denominator, total number of trials, which is forty. So this is the answer for a first case. Now let's find answer for the second and the third case. Now for second case, you have to find the probability that an engineer lives more than or equal to seven kilometers from her place of work. So in this case. In the previous one, it was less than seven. Now, in this case, it is more than or equal to seven. So, out of forty, nine times the distance is less than seven. So, obviously, the remaining thirty-one times it will be more than or equal to seven kilometers. So, here the number of trials in which this event has occurred. What happened will be out of forty. There were nine times where the distance was less than seven. So the remaining thirty-one times the distance will be more than or equal to seven kilometers. So here the probability of this event, which is more than or equals to seven kilometers, the distance should be more than or equals to seven kilometers. So in this case, the number of trials in which this event has occurred is 31, and the total number of trials will remain the same, which is 40. Now let's solve the third one. Now in this case, we have to find the probability that the engineer lives within half kilometer from her place of work. So in this data. There is no engineer whose workplace is half kilometer away from her home. 
So therefore, we can say that here the probability of this event is zero because there is no data available for this event or you can say there is zero number of trials where this event has occurred. What, and what is the event? That the distance between home to workplace should be half kilometer. So in this data, there is no data available which shows this event. So we can say that in that case probability must be zero. So we can say that this is impossible event because here the probability of this event is zero. So this is how we can solve this question. Still if you have any problem in this question or in this chapter, you can call us. This is our number or you can send us your query on WhatsApp. Thank you.